Hi, and welcome to today's tutorial. I'll be making this beautiful blouse in this tutorial. Hi, guys, and welcome to yet another tutorial. Good day to you, whatever time you're watching from. In this tutorial, I'll be making the picture of the gown that was shown in the picture earlier. So, to start with, I'll be using my Adre fabric and sequence velvet. So, let's get to the cutting. We'll start with the first that I have five years of Adre. I won't be making use of everything. Let's cut out the front bodies. You notice that there is a gathers around the nail length of this dress. So I'll first cut out my gown to the nail length. Now fold a hip piece 42. You remember that is also a free gown. So I'll fold 40. I'll fold for 42. So for me to know exactly what to fold, I will add two inches to 40 divided by four. Because I'll be folding this fabric into four. So four divided forty divided by four. Forty two divided by four that is ten point five. Plus two inches is allowance and so in allowance that gives us twelve point five. So I need to fold twelve point five now. So what I have here is more than twelve point five, so I'll reduce it in order not to waste her fabric. Okay. I'm having my twelve point five. All right, now I'm going to mark out where my shoulder is going to start from. I'll draw a straight line for my shoulder line because this fabric is not straight. So it is where my measurement is going to start from. Now our shoulder is 15, half of 15 is 7.5. So I'll measure 7.5. Then our neck width, you can see that that neck is high neck. So our neck width is 2.5. I'm going to use 2.5 for the neck width. Although I might later decide to change because she doesn't like her neck to be very high. Then I'll come down by one inch to make a shoulder slope like this. So I've already made a shoulder slope this way. Let me move the camera so that let me move the fabric to it can I so I can slip. Now I've made the shoulder slope. At that shoulder slope, I'll come down by because the boss is 40. I'll come down by 8.5. What I usually do to get my ammo measurement is divide the boss by 4, the minus 1.5. So if I divide 40 by 4, I get a minus 1.5, I'll get 8.5. So now I'm having 8.5 for uh, ammo length. And I'll come to the middle of 8.5, that's 4.25. Yeah, I'll come in by 0 0.7 inches. Then I'll make a slant to the top here. And then make a cuff, make my ammo cuff. Oh, to meet the okay here is our ham oh i hope this is visible enough let me check it very well. mm. so the ham oh is ready now i go on to a bust line a bust point is 10.5 so from this 10.5 i'll take a bust measurement a bust is 40 divided by for that's 10 inches, then I will add 2.2 inch for ease and sewing allowance. So here is this. I'll come to our waistline. Our waistline is half length is 15. So from that 15, I'll take our waist measurement. Our waist is 36. 36 divided by 4, that's 9 inches. Then I will add 2 inches for ease allowance. So that makes it 11 inches. Then I'll also go down to our hip length. Our hip length is 25. You can decide to also use 8 inches 
from the waist so our hip is 42 42 divided by 4 that's 10.5 and now her 2 inches is allowance so i have 12.5 here then i'll go to a new length a new length is 40 our gown our short gown length is 40 but i'll be using 40 so that she can move freely i'll be using 38 so 38 is going to be a new length but that 38 i will not use is that 38 i'll use 39 reason being that i will use half to join the shoulder at this upper part and i will use half to join the gathers to the lower part so that means i need one more inch so that's i'm using 39 so on this 39 i'm going to measure whatever i have on the hip that's what i'm going to move to the 39 here i have 10 point 12.5 so i have to measure 12.5 here so here is my 12.5 now i can connect this line together this is not supposed to be straight it's supposed to be a bit cough but so this is going to be a straight line now now our front bodies is ready before that, let me go ahead to also, because I'll be using the front bodies to cut the back bodies, I will just make my back neckline here, and my ammo, the back ammo here, so this is going to serve as my back ammo, so I'll first cut out the back ammo, then the neck depth for the back is going to be 1 inch, while the front neck depth is going to be 4.5. I said she doesn't if it's a normal if I want to make it as high as what we have in that picture that'll be you're going to use three inches for the neck depth but for her she doesn't like her neck to be so shaky so I also extend this to three inches it'll be three by four point five inches or well, let me even use five inch she doesn't like the neck look to be touching her neck at all so I'm using five inches so for the back, I will still maintain my 1.5 inches, so I can now cut out. I will still cut out the back neckline, but I want to quickly confirm something. If I, I thought that gown length is 56, then I will have, I've taken the way 48, so I will, I'll be 38, I will say 38 minus 56. So, okay, let's quickly cut out the back neckline. The reason why I'm not cutting out this part is because we are going to use it for the lower gathers. To cut out the back neckline, we are going to add our zipper allowance to it. My zipper allowance will just be 1.5. Uh, you know we have 12.5 before. So what should, what I should have on this line should be 14 inches. Okay. I have exactly 14 inches. So it will give me room for the zipper allowance. I will take my front bodies and place
So I can use this to cut out the back bodies now. Now we have our front and back bodies. So to, go, to open this back bodies, I'll come to our back neck depth there. Back waist depth. Our back waist depth is 17. Yeah. So this place, at the 17, I'm going to come in by half inch. This will allow the fabric, the cloth to sit well around the back so that it will not be puffing out. Then I will draw a, straight, a slant line to the upper part like this. Then for the lower part, I'll just use like five inches here. So now I'll cut this part out. Okay, our back bodies is ready. I can keep it aside. Okay. We go on to our front bodies. I'll cut out the neckline that I already need for the front. And I also cut out the Now I'm going to cut out facing for this dress. Now let's quickly cut the lower parts for this dress. That is the gathered part. I Full gown length is 58, then I already take away 38 for the upper part, so I have 20 inches left. So that's 20 inches, I'm going to have 2 inches for the hemming allowance and the joining for, to the bodies. So I need 22 inches. So the part I cut remaining here, I will check it is up to 22. And Make your fabric as long as you as you, as long as the material you have available to you. You want it very full or not very full. Depend on the material available for you. So this is now so this part. So this part. Think, let me see what we have here. This might not be full enough for the gathers that I want to make we just have to manage it because she's also making for other that we have 46 by 46 while the how to get your number of gathers just multiply it by two or three what do we have here this is folded into two so when you open it we have 28 so 28 times two is 50 56, but I have 46 here, so it's short of 10. I have to manage it because she's making for her daughter also from this. So from this, I'm going to use, no, it's folded into two now. So I'm going to use one for front, while the other one will be for back. So I'll measure out 22 inches. So here is my 22 inches. I'm going to cut out the 22 inches. Yeah.
So this is going to be the gathers at the bottom here. Yeah. So we set this aside. Now I go on to the pocket. So we have four pieces one, two, three, four. Good. Now to not cut out the sleeve. Notice that the sleeve is a small pleat around the ham o. So, putting out the sleeve now. We're cutting out two sleeves. The sleeve I'm going to be folding. The two sleeves because I'm going to be. The sleeve is going to be on fold. I'm not going to line. I'm going to use the same material to line it. So I'm going to cut out the two sleeves together. The sleeve length is around two inches. So it's half for joining it together. That makes it 2.5 inch. So what I should have here when folded is. You see that I'm folding into four. So one is for the right sleeve, while the other is for the left sleeve. So I have more than 2.5. I'm good to go. Now we'll fold this back into depending on how much pleats you want to have. You know the arm width is 16. So I want my pleat to be mush. You can use any length of your choice. So this is my pleat folded into four. So I'm going to have it like this. You notice that the when the sleeve was getting to the to the arm pit, well, when, from the front it was a bit shorter. It's not as long as while it was at the front. So that's why I'm cutting this. I'm just making this kind of shape now, like the arm o shape. So I'll cut this out. So here we have this for the right and this for the left. So when I'm sewing on the hammer, I start pleating like this. Pleat, pleat, pleat around the sleeve. So the sleeve is done. Then the next step to do now is our sequence. So have our sequence. Now to have the sequence, we have to take our sequence mat fabric and fold into two. stretch all around so I'll fold my sequence into two. You notice that sequence does not get to this part. So I'll make sure that I work with the part that the sequence gets to. Now do you know what to fold? A boss point the just measure from one boss to another, not boss point two. Above the boss point. So I'll be measuring twelve how wide I want it twelve. 
that's it, I think that's 6.5. Okay, 7 is okay because that's 7. I'm going to still use half to join to the side. And you notice that in that picture, the sequence style from above the boss point, the boss point is 10, and it was a bit, a bit above the boss point. Let's say it was 2 inches above the boss point, and it stopped below the navel almost getting to her hip so i will use 24 for that so twenty four for the sequence that why this is seven inches so with this now I'll just form this line to get our triangle. So I'll just cut out the triangle now. Make sure that. Now, let me place the this how the triangle is going to look like on it. I'm still going to M outside. Now this is where the triangle is going to be. I see it's getting to be it, but let me see a boss point. Yeah. This one. So I want to be around eight. Yeah. Starting from there. Now the nine time to be around. So this is just it. Now I'll go ahead and Cut out the facing for the neck line. If I decide to line it, I forgot to buy lining for this dress. Open it, so you now need lining. But now I'm realizing that <coughs> just realize that lining would have given a better option than the facing. So, but at this point now, I have no option. Just go ahead and cut facing. my front facing I'll put facing for the back also
So I've got out the fixing for the back. Now I'll go ahead and attach I'm going to attach a stay to this back uh, facing then I will weave the lower parts. Do the same for this two. Attach a stay, weave the lower part and iron it smoothly. After that I will open the front like this. Then I will sew the facing to it. Then after sewing the facing to it this way. I will turn it, I will notch it open. I will notch, then turn it to the other side, iron it, and, and use it, let me come to hold it in place. I will do the same thing for the back. Then I will go ahead and attach a um, paper stay to this my sequence so that it will stay. If not, it will. It will not be easy sewing it, so I have to attach paper stay to it, then come back and show us the next step. Okay, guys, um, I've done turning the facing for the next side and I've ironed it out. I did the same for the back also. Here's the back, I attached the facing and then. Uh, turn it so for the back now the next step to do for the back is for me to go and add my zip so to add my zip i'm going to hold this part so, i'll be using long zip the zip size is 24 so i'll measure from those points to 22 so at 22 here I'm going to this 22. So at this point, I'll measure 1.5. Remember that our zip allowance is 1.5. Trying to get my shot. Okay, let me go over again. So at from this edge here, I'll measure 22. That's where my zip is going to start from. And we left. 1.5 as uh, sewing as a zip allowance so from here i'll measure 1.5 downward 1.5 then so i'm going to sew along this line for my zipper allowance then after sewing I'll fix my zip at the upper part here. Then I will also weave these edges. You know, these are rough edges. I have to weave them to make it neat. So now this is the front part. I've done. I've attached the facing and the sequence. I've attached the add stay to it. It has to be add stay. If not, it will not stay. No sequence stretches a lot. So. Now I'm going to place this sequence on my fabric. I'm trying to cut out the excess I showing. See? You remember if you look at the picture, you notice that it starts from almost it was almost entry the handful. So here is what I'm going to have now. For me to be able to sew this easily, I have to use Emmy gum to attach this to the fabric. If not, it will keep on shifting. I have to be I have to ensure that I'm at the center. So let me first get my center. I'll make it big smile. This is my center. I'm trying to use my nail to put that this line. Okay. Now okay, I can see the center. So this is my when it must end, end at the center here. Okay. So, I'm going to use. You can use pin to hold it down and sew on the machine. But sometimes I notice that even if I use pin to hold it down, this fabric stretch along the line while sewing. 
But if I use them in gum, I'll just use them in gum to attach it to the fabric. Let me just plug my iron and do that now. attaching it with my hemi gum I can now easily go ahead and sew at the tip brand here and here then I'll come back to show us the next step all right I'm done attaching the stay here then I've fixed the button and the zip to the back also so the front and the back are ready so here is the back of fixed to zip now the next thing to do is to go ahead and join this on the shoulder to so join this on the shoulder i don't want this rough edge strain so i will still open up this part that i've done down i'll open it up then turn it up like this so and i will sew half inch this way I'll do the same thing for this side also. Then also I will fix the pockets. Yeah. I'm going to measure 8 inches from the ham hole. And that's where the pocket is going to sit. So let me measure 8 inches. These are my 8 inches. So I will not cheat. I'll take my pocket, I'll fix it on the right side. Right side facing right. So this is the right side. Like this. I will sew this way. Then I will also fix this to this part. I've notched it. Then I will also sew here. I'll do the same thing for this other side too. Then come back to show us the next step. Okay, I've done attaching the sleeve to show that part. Now I'll open it up and close up this. Okay, you can see that the neckline is now neat. Now I also attach the pockets singly. So, next step right now is to attach our sleeve. Like I said, the sleeve is going to be pleated. We have, I'm going to start the pleating from the shoulder, from the middle of the shoulder. Hmm. This is my pleat, uh, my sleeve, I've attached ST to my sleeve. And I folded it into two. So I'm trying to I'm going to get the center. Here is my center. So is that same center I'm going to attach this to? So I'm going to pleat it's starting from here. So the pleat is going to be like this. to be a knife bit
I'm not able to anything. So when you open it up, it's going to come like this. I think I have to still reduce this please because I'm supposed to get to this part. So I have to reduce it. I have to reduce it. at it now see it's getting to this part then I will do attaching the sleeve to it then I'll also weave it round so this is the way it's going to look also the next step now is to join her bodies together I'll turn it over like this right side facing right side from the shoulder then Remember we added two inches earlier for our sewing allowance and ease allowance. I'm going to use one inch for sewing allowance. Why one inch is going to be for ease allowance. So depending on the person's preference, some they prefer the cloth to be tighter. So I'm going to use I can use half inch for ease allowance and sew 1.5 as a sewing allowance or use one inch but for this case because the clothes is for somebody that is not nearby i have to use half inch first then i will use one inch later so from here like this i'll just mark one okay. from here i'll mark one inch or three for my sewing allowance because I'll do the same. You can also reconfirm your measurements. You know, we said that boss is 40 inches. So let me mark let me measure what do I have here. Half of 40 is 20. So I'm having 25 here. That means I have 25 inches as the extra allowance. So I have to share it as 2.5 or 2.5 here. But because I said I'm going to use on one inch for the ease allowance. Instead of 2.5, I'm going to use 1.5, 1.5. So to come back to 22, that'll make it 42. That's for the ease allowance. Then for the waist, the waist is 36. What do I have here? 36 divided by 2 is 18. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5. So I'm also going to use. 3 inches as the sewing allowance, 1.5 by 1.5 then I have 1 and half for the ease allowance then let's come to the hip, my hip is 44 maybe 42 what do I have here? half of 42 is 
21. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and a half. So I'm going to use 1.5, 1.5 here for the ease allowance. So I'm going to be using 1.5 for the sewing allowance. Then I will sew 1.5 all through, 1.5 all through there also. I will go and do that, then come back to show us the next step. Alright, so I'm done sewing the sides and already we it round. So the next step now is to go on to our gathers. Okay, let me just put it over for us to see. So it's already looking so pretty. pretty already now the next step to do now is to see the pocket is very concealed not very obvious that there is a pocket there next thing now is to attach our gathers to the hem so this is my gather there are different ways you can attach it is either i make it as a tiny pleat around the edges or i go ahead and sew a straight line a gathers line and pull it together if i like to do that because it makes me have equal gathers right so i'll go and sew a straight gather line a loose stitch round this end i'll do that come back and show us how it looks all right um don't sewing the loose stitches round it uh, for me to know the length I'm going to gather the stitches so I will just measure this M part. So this is 22, that's 44. So all my gathering must be 44. So I'll go ahead and gather this to 44. Just pick one thread here and start pulling. Be careful so that the thread doesn't cut. Because I have only one line. You know that you might, cannot maintain one. So it's better you just sew two, three lines for your gathers. That way, it won't cut together and we keep working for you.
so now I'm having 44 here. Then I'll go ahead and sew this side together. Go ahead and sew this part downward with half inch. After sewing, I'll weave it, then come back and show us the next step. Alright. I'll, this is the back. Hmm? And here is the joining at the back. I'll open it up like this. Then I'll bring this one to like this. You see? Right side facing right side. Yeah. So. It's going to be like this. So like this now. I'll go ahead and stitch this round after stitching round i will interlock it then come back and show us the last step now i'll attach the teflon look at look at it inside so i already weave it round like this you can see so i'll sew it round then i'll weave it round also so the last part in this tutorial is to m for the hem you know i said that down length is 50 58 so i'm going to measure 58 whatever i have left is what i'm going to fold as a any allowance so i'm having 60 here and see so I have 60. So I'm going to fold 2 inches round. That's going to be the ME allowance. See the new length is 38. So I'll fold it round. After folding it round, I'll place it on the mannequin for us to see. Okay, I'm done hemming the lower part. So our dress is finally ready. You can see it's looking so beautiful. I'll go ahead, give it a good press there display it on the mannequin for us to see the final look okay if you know that you, you like this video was helpful please like the video you can also ask a question in the comment section of the comment section to answer your question if there's any tutorial you would like me to do for you let me know also in the comment section and if you are yet to subscribe if you're a new timer please press on the subscribe button and turn on your notification button so that you can know when next we post a new tutorial bye and see you in the next one all right